All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This video, the title is Key Differences Between Male and Female. Yes, this week's videos are going to be about the what I call the contrast, the differences that are not necessarily bad, good, or indifferent, but they're different. They're like, women do this most of the time, men do that most of the time. Why? Because they are women and these are men. That's the way I view that. Certain things about life and the process of life, the evolution of life, all those things, they mean something. And if you are familiar with those meanings, then it puts you on a different path as you go through this thing called life, right? Like, for instance, if you are able to, um, as an individual, not as a man or a woman, uh, if you are able to control your temper or your anger, then you are more in control of how things go in life. Now, if you're a person who just flies off the handle when someone just says, how you doing? You know, then that's not really a good thing, right? You, you're going to find yourself in several different situations that could have been avoided, <laughs> right? It's like giving your opinion when really nobody asks. It, it's okay to do it, but... There's consequences, right? Especially if your, if your opinion is derogatory or negative to someone or offensive, right? So you don't, want, you don't want to put yourself in that category if at all possible. But sometimes we do that, right? And you've seen it and I've seen it. But um, before I go any further, don't forget to like these videos, share these videos. You know how that goes. I always forget to say that. And uh, you would think that after almost 200 videos, I would, that would be automatic, right? But it's not. But there are other things that are automatic. And uh, as, I, as I was creating this 200 video series, I wanted to understand some of the what I call the nuances that I would experience along the way, right? The things that I would pick up on and I could adjust, you know, kind of like professionally, <laughs> right? I think about this. If you're a profession, if you if you're a professional at something, and I'm an amateur at that same something. If I'm around you, I'm going to be absorbing and watching and picking up things from you, right? Those things that I pick up are going to help me. Because why? Because you are a professional, <laughs> right? You have uh, characteristics that are innate now, you, you, automatic, in other words, like a default. If your defaults are all uh, number ones, you know what I mean? Like if... if I tell you this, and you say, well, you need to do that. I tell you that, and you say you need to do that. That means you're going to give me the best advice the first thing, right? So I don't have to learn that process. I'm getting it from you, which is what I do with my company. I help people just like yourself who want to start a business, who believe that they can have a business, but for whatever reason, haven't taken that first step, right? I'll push you. I'll, I'll do what they call help you throw your hat over the fence. Have you ever heard that phrase? Think about that for a second. Throw your hat over the fence. <laughs> when you throw your hat over the fence, you got to go over the fence to get your hat or your hat's not coming back to you. So you got to create a plan to get over the fence to get your hat. And what happens once you get over the fence? The world opens up, right? But you got to go, you got to get in. Like Les Brown says, you have to become a uh, participant instead of a spectator. You have to get in the game. And if all you want to do is spectate and criticize, guess what those results bring? <laughs> Nothing for you. But if you want to get in the game and, you know, kind of take the bumps and the bruises and learn along the way, it's there for you. And and one of the beautiful things about this type of system is it's, it's not like it's going to deter you that much when you take a bump or you take a bruise, but it's going to teach you something which is going to be valuable, invaluable to you. So that's the direction you want to go. Um, again, getting back to the topic, <laughs> because this is what I love about doing this kind of thing. See, I'm not, I don't have a, a producer or anybody telling me, don't say this, don't say that. I can do what I want to do, right? And you can too. You can say what you want to say. You can create what you want to create. It can be you exclusively. And that's normally how it is, right? Are you afraid? to show people who you really are, what you really stand for? Because you shouldn't be. Because you are that person regardless of whether you spread your wings and show the world or stay, hold it all in. You're still that same person. 
But life is different for you because when you open up and you share with people and you give good advice and you help people with their journey, what happens vicariously uh, through the world is that the world uh, groups together to help you, right? It, it glorifies you in a way that you get more confident in what you're doing. You become more satisfied in the day to day. You enjoy the actual process, which is necessary <laughs> because if you don't enjoy the process, oh my goodness, that's a deterrent to stop. Think about that. All right, I'm going to read this quickly, so uh, bear with me. It says, uh, key differences between male and female. Focus on family. That was a source that I got this from. It says, the distinction between male and female is very real and very deeply rooted in human nature and human physiology. What's more, research indicates that it's natural for from culture to culture and that it finds expression in almost every area of life. Beginning, a male's orientation toward life tends to be outward, explorative. Every boy and every man is on a quest. He discovers his identity out there in the world where he senses his larger purpose and destiny lie. Now, determined to deliver the goods, a man places great stock in knowing that he has what it takes to complete the quest and accomplish the task at hand. Needs to know what's next. Unlike a woman, he isn't inclined to cuddle to savor meaningful experiences or to linger in the moment. Generally speaking, he's anxious to move on to the next thing. Now we're talking about a man, right? Optimistic. To put it another way, the male is a doer, and in the final analysis, his feelings about what he's doing or his reasons for doing it are less important to him than the urge and the opportunity to get it done. Next, we have take chances to seize the to seize and make the most of his opportunities. A boy or a man must be willing to take chances. Accordingly, a propensity to run a certain degree of risk is fundamental to the male character. Initiator, all of his presumes, all of this presumes a certain willingness and ability to take the bull by the horns, horns and make things happen. It also suggests that leadership, while not necessarily an exclusive male uh, prerogative, is nevertheless more deeply rooted in the nature of men and boys. And finally, for the men, it says, active and aggressive. There, there is an obvious connection between initiation and aggress active aggression. In light of this, it's interesting to note that male, the male brain is two and a half times larger and more vital in the center devoted to aggression and action than the female brain. Now, the competitive and dominant. Men want the best and will expend incredible energy towards getting it. That's under the competitive and dominant characteristic. Now, for women, it says a woman's perspective tends to be more inwardly directed, confidently enticing. Unlike the male who, go, who must go out into the world to find his destiny, the woman possesses her future within herself. She has a hidden but deep confidence in this. Value, values intimacy above action. A woman cares more about being, more about being than doing. And she finds the reason for her being in a relationship. Now, wisely selective, receptive. Uh, though, she, though she values relationships above all else, a woman does not enter into them indiscriminately. She chooses slowly and receives wisely. Seeks security. Because her orientation is inward toward relationships, nurturing and nesting, the female of the species puts a premium on safety and security to a far more greater extent than the male. She values qualities like 
dependability, and trustworthiness in a potential mate. Prefers modesty. A confident woman knows that she possesses something very precious and valuable, the power of her femininity, and she is driven at an innate desire to protect it. Modesty is fundamentally is fundamental to her nature. Caring. The female is more natural naturally inclined to respond to the distresses, the needy, or the hurting with immediate compassion and care. Uses words. Men talk to communicate information or ideas. Women talk to communicate feelings and thoughts. As a result, women tend to use more words than men. Desires equity and submission. A woman wants to be a man's equal, but an equal of a very spe special kind. At a deep and fundamental level, she has a strong desire to be led, protected, and cared for. And finally, ye wheels, soft power which shapes humanity. Women have the ability to wield great and subtle influences in marriage and domestic relationships. Now, hearing those things gives people a different perspective than just reading those things, right? Which is why I like to share those things with you from my perspective by sharing what I'm saying. And uh, even though from time to time, you know, you're going to make mistakes, that's part of it. Don't worry about the mistakes. The mistakes will earn themselves out over a period of time, especially in the beginning. Don't worry about that. And I've been doing this for a long time now, so you still, I still make mistakes. That's okay. We're in a mistake world. You're going to make mistakes. Get past that, right? Don't let that keep you back because when you let that keep you back, you're never going to go forward because you're always going to make mistakes. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Lighten up. You know, this is your life. Right? All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like that video. Share that video. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video.